Hi everyone, my presentation will be on fourth wave feminism. My name is Shaheen Willis for Lit 372. So to give a little background of what fourth wave feminism is, it began around 2008 and emphasizes to focus on empowerment of women in a technological perspective. Many women were being sexually harassed, judged for their body and molested. Social media was involved to display and address these incidents. So hashtag Me Too movement was created by Tarana Berkey who started hashtag Me Too to raise awareness for women who were victims of sexual abuse and assault in society. As time progressed, more people started to dive deeper into the movement at the Harvey Weinstein sexual abuse allegations. Now, for those who do not know who Harvey Weinstein is, he's a well-known film producer who was accused of dozens of women that he raped, sexually assaulted, and abused over a period of 30 years. After Alyssa Milano encouraged women to say hashtag me too if they experience sexual assault or harassment, many women started to tweet their experiences on Twitter. So on the bottom left is the tweet that she tweeted out that widespread over the country. And it says, if you've been sexually harassed or assaulted, write in parentheses, me too, as a, as a reply to this tweet. In the bottom right is the women that were involved in the fourth wave feminism move, which are Toronto Berkey, who is the founder of hashtag me too, on the Bottom left is Ashley Jew, and on the bottom right is Salma Hayek. So, women involved in the fourth wave feminism. The first one is Tarana Berkey, who I mentioned before. She was a civil rights activist from the Bronx, New York. Now, her hashtag. Me Too actually started in 2006 on social media and it didn't pick up to 2017 when women used it in reference to Harvey Weinstein sexual abuse allegations. The second person is Emma Watson, who you may know to be on Harry Potter or Beauty and the Beast. And she's an English actress, model and activist. She made a speech at UN encouraging men to join in when feminism is involved. She made a stance that equality amongst both genders is needed. The third person is Malala Yousafzai, and she was a girl who was shot in her head on her way home from school. She was supposed to be assassinated by the gunman. This happened in Pakistan, and she has told her story to advocate for female education. Now, her story didn't make headlines to 2013 when she gave her speech at the UN headquarters in New York for her 16th birthday. So these are two graphs on feminism conversations within the fourth wave. And the first graph represents um, the conversations on Beyonce's flawless VMA performance and Emma Watson's hashtag he for speech, he for she speech. Now, before any of these acts came up, um, the arms represent the conversations that feminism was having before it was, before any of these acts were created. Now, after Beyonce's feminism VMA performance, there was a significance of 40 to 50,000 more conversations than they were before. Now, in Emma Watson's hashtag he for, he for she speech, um, there was a 200 to 300,000 increase in conversations. And the second graph is Hashtags used to talk about feminism. The highest being hashtag bring back our girls 
which was 5.5 million and the lowest was hashtag wide loader and that's the end of my presentation and i appreciate it